hi guys in this video we are going to use the plane effector to animate this bouncing beach ball with no keyframe whatsoever and we also after that look how we can actually use the plane effector as well to animate um the second arm on a clock with no keyframe so everything we are going to there's no keyframe in all of these things it's just pure um, plane effector and no other thing included um, this even though this technique or this thing we are going to do can be simple but if you apply this principle in any other sector or different fields you can actually do inc incredible and amazing things already there are a lot of things i'm imagining in my mind you can use this trick or this tip to do so let's get into cinema 4d and see how we will do this so now i have cinema 4d open and from cinema 4d r20 upwards i think you should be able to do this uh, what i'm going to do here so now i actually come in and we start creating a um beach ball so i'll come in here create a normal sphere increase the segment so that it'll be smooth to like 72 right so now we are going to create the material for it to look like the um beach ball if you are not interested in how to like the material and everything you can actually skip it to the point where i'm showing how to use the plane effector to control the sphere so now let's go ahead and create this so i double click here to create a new sphere you can simply come in here and create a new material it's the same thing you can actually hit this plus button and also create the same thing so i'll click uh, drag and drop it onto the sphere so now let's go into double click on it to open it the material data comes up then i'll make sure in the texture here i'll choose gradient right so in the gradient i actually create another one a third one and i'll make sure all of them is selected so if i hold shift i can select all of them and now click see the gradient you have this arrow here click on it and it drops down to show you the other properties of the gradient so now i'll change it from smooth to step so now it's there's no interpolation it's just from one color to another color so i'll right click again and i'll say um distribute nodes actually let me disable the selection so i click on one of the nodes too. so i right click and distribute nodes so now you can see it's properly distributing the colors from black gray to white the next thing i'm going to do is i'll actually change the color so i'll make this one red um red i'll make sure it's red then i'll make this one um blue then i'll make this one yellow all right so we have a uh, um red blue yellow so the next i'll right click and distribute the knots again it, actually this time i'll double the knots so i'll double it so now it creates another three copies so those three copies are the ones in between so we are going to change all of them to white so i'll double click select this one i'll make it white I'll select this one and I'll make it white and I'll select this one as well and I'll make it white right so we are almost there with our beach ball but you can see the beach ball always the, there's some white thing on top here so to create that you still add that white tip on top of this gradient so I'll double click on it to open it again then now I come to colors and our textures now I'll put this gradient in a layer so to do that I'll come here drop down and i'll choose layer so now this gradient is in a layer so if i click on it you can see we have the layer open and this is our gradient now we can create extra shaders on top of this layer so we are going to create another gradient so i'll click, click shader and i'll choose gradient on top of this gradient right and because we we want the white on top of this one i'll come in here and i'll select these two as well like i did initially then i'll click this one drop down and i'll make it also step as well the next thing is i'm going to create let me i can select one too so i'll create another one in the middle so this one will be white and um, actually this one will be black so i'll leave it black and i'll make this one the last one at the edge white right so now i'll i'll shift it a bit to this edge and i'll move this one in here so it's like from white and all in here or we have black then you have white again the next thing is if you come to the gradient i'll hide this one if you come to the gradient type you can see we have 2du 
now the 2d view is making it go horizontally but we want it 2d view so that it will be vertical so i'll change it from view to v and now you can see the white is on top at the tips of the of the sphere right the next thing is how do we get it to show like through so just like if you use photoshop you use the blend mode so this one because it's black we, when we add it all the blacks will disappear so i'll just use either screen or add the blend modes in photoshop and now it adds the white on top of the um, gradient that we created so basically this is how the ball is created nothing fancy and everything so the next thing is how to go ahead and create our um plane effector to actually control the sphere so the next thing i'll come simply come to more graph effector plane effector i'll make it a child of the sphere and now I'll, I'll come to the deformer attribute menu that you can see you have deformer i'll change it deformation from off to object you can see it moves the object apple so now it's deforming the object right and it's moving it if you come to the parameters 100 centimeters upwards so this is where you set how high you want it to go so i actually set it to like 400 for now and now it moves it upwards but if you hit play nothing is happening so we have to tell it to move so to the way we have to tell it to move is to come to the fall off and now we have our fields open and now we can choose within we have like this is where we have our field the linear fields and everything the next the linear fields we have other fields here which is you can use either of this the one you are going to use is time so what you are saying is that we want the uh, 100 uh, the 400 centimeters that is set here to be applied over time right so that's why we are using the time um this field the time field right so when you select the time field when you check uh, check its properties actually when you check your properties you can see um where you come to layers layer actually layer and you can see the rate is set to 30 frames so basically it's going to move this ball up 400 centimeters in 30 frames right so if i hit play you can see it goes and after frame 30 it stops so the 400 centimeters moved within 30 frames you can actually increase it to how many frames that you want i can actually make it 90 and let's hit play you can see it takes time and eventually it happens so i'll actually set it back to the 30 again 30 frames and now everything is fine the next thing is for us to get the bounce the way we want it like we have to define how it should move so to do that i'll come with the time selected right i'll come to the remapping and now with the remapping it, it's linear it just moves smoothly like linearly upwards we can actually change it so if we come down here you can see we have contour and the contour we have contour mode we change it from um uh, none to curve right so now it gives us a curve and if you do keyframing it's like now you have you set your keyframe this is like a keyframe interpolation where you actually define how smooth or how how it moves so now i can actually for instance if i should move this um uh points up like this way if i and see it begins to move fast and slow down so if i hit play see it go it starts quickly and slows down at first it was just moving smoothly but now it starts quickly and slow down so you are going to use this to control our animation so i'll go ahead hit hold control and click to create another uh another uh, point in here right then i'll drag this point down so now we basically have this nice um curve created so basically this what you are doing is so it moves up and it, it falls down so now let's hit play to see what happens it comes down but it, it's not going back and forth like the way we want it so for us to do that we now come back to the layer again and now to the keyframe you see you have ship uh to the how do you call it the frame the rate of the time we have the next one we have the shape right so now we'll change it from 
none you can choose either of these but the one we want is the sword to and now let's hit play and it begins to play the way we want so we can actually come into our um remapping to uh, play with it to get the kind of flow we want and all that uh, everything can actually so basically this is how you get it to bounce with no keyframing but the next thing is how to add rotation to it so to add rotation if i should come in here and i click rotation let's say move it like upwards and hit play and see it goes and it comes back which is something you can use depending on what you are doing but this one you want it to go full 360 so what you are going to do is i'll disable the rotation and i'll use this particular so you use a different um, plane object to control the rotation so what i'll do is i'll hold control drag and click and drag this one to duplicate it right then I'll uncheck this and I'll check this rotation. So now I'll set it to like 360, right? And the next thing is we come to the fall off again. And now we reset this one to a not the linear we had again. So I right click here and I'll say reset. So now you can see it's set back to the um, linear. So you just move 360 and it's also set to, um, how do we call it? Let me check again. Um, layer here yeah, let me come to the layer and you can see it's also set to the everything is set except the curve has been changed to a normal linear curve and now if you hit play you can see it moves 360 smoothly and everything is nice and smooth so this is basically how i use just the plane effector to do this with no keyframe and everything you can do a lot of interesting stuff so we can actually go in here and play with this rotation to if you want it to move in a certain way you can actually come in here if now because it's set to um, reset everything is linear I can right click and change the spline preset to like cubic or one of these um, like uh, this thing tangent so that you can actually get what you want you can right click uh, spline type to actually ease in soft and everything right so play around with everything all of those things and you can also select them and non just delete them like uh, just that any other point so basically this is how i use the this thing um the, just the plane object to create the bouncing beach ball with no key, with keyframe um animation and another interesting thing is now that you've created this, you can simply come in here to create, let's say, a cube. And all you do is select these two and drag and drop it on the cube. And now everything will be applied to the cube. So if I hit play, you can see it's the cube that's happening. So it becomes like a procedure animation that you set. You can actually set some kind of animation using the um, the effector. And now you can use it like as your preset animations. You can also, you don't necessarily have to make it a chart. So for instance, if I want to affect all this, um, the, the sphere, so let me actually bring back the sphere. I'll move it somewhere. If I want to uh, uh, want it to affect the sphere and the the cube different uh, at the same time, but I don't want to du duplicate it, I can actually go ahead and create a normal um, null object. And I'll make sure they are all child of the null object, right? And now if I should hit play, can see it affects all of them at a time because now the plane uh, deformer is basically like a def uh, plane effector is basically like a deformer so it works just like any deformer works so this is a way to use the plane effector to do this so here we have a normal wall clock and like for a simplicity i've actually taken off the hour and the minute um, um indicators so now we have just the second arm here so and one thing you have to make sure is because we are going to make you rotate like the way the second bar moves like you know it moves step by step by step and it doesn't move linearly and you are going to use the plane effector to also 
actually affect this one. So I'll simply come in here to the more graph effector and I'll create the plane. I'll make it a child of the um, the second arm, right? And I'll come to the parameters. Now it's affecting the position. We don't want the position, we want rotation. First of all, we'll come to the deformers and make sure it's affecting the object like we did. So I'll change it from off, of, uh, off to object, right? And now in our parameter, we want it to affect the banking, right? So we want it to go 360. Indeed, we are not actually going to move it per second. We can actually do if we want, but I want it to go 360. So from, I'll make 360, right? And now we use the same thing. We come to our effector, right? And I'll choose um, the time effector. And if we should hit play, see? Within uh, 30 frames, it, it moves three, uh, the 360. So now we actually come to the layer and make it like um, 90 frames. With our 90 frames, and now it moves. But we don't want it to move linearly like that. We want it to move like the way the second bar moves. It moves step, 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 that kind of way. That's how we want it to move. So we will select the time come to the remapping again and this time we are not going to we come to the contour mode we are not going to use the curve we are going to use a different one so i'll click on this one and i'll use the step right and now if i should hit play nothing happens so the last frame then you move back but you don't see it so i actually increase it to like let's see four and let's see what happens see the way it moves so it moves from that <laughs> So now what we are actually we can do is make it 12 and see what happens. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So because it moves too quick, we actually have to increase our frame to like something like, let's say, 500 would be cool. Right. And now we have to tell the time the layer to make everything good that 360 within the, let's say, 300 frames, right? And now let's hit play to see. See the way it moves. So you can actually go ahead and define from, let's say 900 frames and see. Take time, then it moves. Take time, then it moves. So basically you can play around with it several ways, like using just the plane with no keyframe, but you can actually start getting a lot of interesting animation using the field and the time and all that. So this is basically like a simple tip I just wanted to show. And if you like it, please subscribe and continue like my video. You can share it and give it the support. Thank you and see you in the next one.